Hello learners, welcome to the junior high school hour on the Joy Learning Channel. My name is Colin J. Mensah and I'm taking you through the Information and Communication Technology ICT. In today's lesson, we are looking at printing a document, printing a word document. And by the end of the lesson, the learner will be able to preview and edit word processing documents. He will preview and edit a word processing document and then you'll be able to outline the steps to follow to print a word processing document outline the steps to follow to print a word processing document how you say printing what comes into your mind you have screen printing we have other types of printing but you are printing a word document so printing in this context is the process of transferring a text you have typed or a picture you have pasted in your, in your software onto a piece of paper. Any text you type or any image you're able to paste in a software, this software mostly is the word processing document because you are printing a document though. So process of transferring a text you have typed or an image you have pasted in the software onto a piece of paper. The information you are seeing on your screen is referred to as the soft copy. The soft copy. As you are printing, we are saying transferring a text you have typed, a text you have typed, or an image you have pasted in your software onto a piece of paper. And we are saying the text you have typed or the image you have printed is referred to as the soft the image you have pasted is referred to as the soft copy and once it has been transferred onto the piece of paper it then becomes your hard copy it then becomes your hard copy so we can say printing is the process of transferring information on the computer screen onto a piece of paper or transferring soft copy into a hard copy. Why do you have to print a document? Importance of printing a document. Printed copies are touchable and can be read out easily. Can be read everywhere you find yourself. You don't need a computer before you can read a document you, want, you have printed. So printed copies are touchable and can be read out easily. And also printed copies can be used as a medium of evidence in legal disputes in legal disputes and if you have any misunderstanding with your friend or a colleague and you want to show that you have the proof you have to print it out and present it in the law court or anywhere the the, every, the, the dispute is being resolved so printed copies can be used as a medium of evidence then printed documents are difficult to manipulate or forge as we did editing in our previous lesson we saw that you can add text you can remove text you can undo you can redo text whilst you are editing but once the document has been printed it is very difficult to forge or manipulate if you manipulate it it will be seen because the ink will be the, the word will be cancelled out with an ink and then you will find yourself wanting. Then, printed documents do not require the availability of electricity, as I said before. When you have any time you want to read or you want to assess something you have printed, you don't need electricity. Unlike a type document or information on the screen, you need electricity before you can assess those documents when you are using the desktop computer. Then we look at some of the disadvantages of printing. It requires paper, it requires an ink or a toner, and these ones are very expensive. If you want to print, you need, an, you need a paper, you need an ink, or you need a toner cartridge, or, and then you need printers as well. And all these items are quite expensive. And then printed documents are bulky and difficult to carry around if there are many. If you, if you are going for your 
legal disputes and you print about 100 pages or 1,000 pages, it's very difficult to carry around. And that one too can be a disadvantage. And then printed documents require physical space for storage. If you print and don't have a physical space where it may be a shelf or something, you can keep the printed documents. The, after printing them, they can be destroyed by fire or water. If you pack them on the table and water may be spilled on the table, it can destroy the documents you have printed. So if you don't have any physical space where you want to put the printed documents, then I suggest you don't even print because it requires a physical space for storage. Now I want to look at a tool that can help in our printing, known as the Print Preview Tool. The Print Preview. And this is a tool that enables users to view how the document will look like before printing, as the name implies, preview, before viewing. So whatever, it is, whatever, is, whatever you see on the screen is what you get on the paper after printing. So if you have this word here, I am a boy. The way the tests have been arranged on the screen is the same way you will see on the paper when it is printed. That's the function of the print preview. It will enable the user to view how this document will look like, right? how the Y will look like, how the A will look like, whether the, the spacing are equal, whether the margins are what he or she likes before printing. So if what, if, what, if what you are seeing on the print preview screen is not the best, then you have to edit or you have to change it. Let's, let's look at some importance of print preview. It enables us to view, that's the main function, to enable you view the, how the document will look like when it is printed. And then it will also allow you to change the page margins. As I said, if the margins are not to your liking, the print preview will help you to change margins and to change other aspects. It also allows you to change the paper orientation. We have two forms of orientation in MS Word. We have the portrait orientation, that's the default orientation. We have the portrait orientation, and then we have the landscape orientation. We have the landscape orientation. So this is a print preview that will help you change or help you to know the kind of orientation you are supposed to use for your printing. If you are printing maybe an official letter, then it requires that you use the portrait. But maybe you, have, you want to print a schedule or you want to print a timetable for your school children. You need to print it in the landscape so that it can contain all the information on the screen. Then it helps us to select the type of paper to be used for printing. The default paper that is used for printing is the A4 sheet. So if you, want, if you don't want to print with the A4, you can use the letter or you can use any other form of paper. But it is the print preview that will help you to know the type of paper to use when printing a particular document. But how will you preview a document? Because we are saying the print preview will help you to know or to see how your document will look like when it is printed. How can we preview a document? The steps. Since we've started looking at the MS Word, we've been seeing the tabs and the file button. This time around, where we have the file button, just by the file button, we have the tabs. We have the home, we have the insert, and the rest. But we are not dealing with the tabs this time around. We are dealing with the file button. The file button. So for us to preview our document, we click the file button. If we click the file button, it brings out a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, we can have options like the new, we can have open, we can have save. We can have save us, then we can have print. We can have print. In previous versions of Microsoft, maybe 2003,
we can also see print preview. But for 2013 and other higher versions, we will not see the print preview. But if you click on the print, clicking on the print command will show you the print preview option at the far right, the, at the far right here. So if you click on print, it's, you have the print di dialog box here and the preview window by the side, by the side. So if you click on the print, if, if it's a let's print, the print preview window will be displayed at the far right, will be displayed here. So all the, all the information you're about to print will be displayed on that particular preview window. And that one will help you to either continue printing or to stop printing. This print preview option works with the acronym WSWIC, WSWIC, which means what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. WSWIC, WSWIC. And this means that the layout of the document is what you will get when it is printed. It's very straightforward. What you see is what you get. So if you are seeing on your screen, you are seeing help. You are seeing heaven. You are also seeing honest. You are seeing these three words. And how they have been arranged, that is the same way you will, you will see on the paper when it is printed. What you see on the screen is what you will get when it is printed. That's the main option, or that's the main function of the print preview. To help you to see how the document will look like, and also whether the, f the files or the text inside the document have been properly, pro properly edited or formatted. Any of them is there. So what you see is what you get. It's not like as you are seeing the monitor, you get monitor. As you are seeing television, you, see, you get television. But what you see typed on the on the on the document is what you will see. It's what you will get when you print it out. So this means this means the layout of the document is what you will get when it is printed. The layout of the document there how the paper the paper orientation has been made how the margins have been set how the paper type has been selected that is the exact thing you will get when the document is printed now let's look at some things you will do before you print your document things to do before printing your document the first thing to do is to save the document is to make sure all changes have been made all formatting has been done all editing has been done and then saved. Now you get the latest version of the document you're about to print. Then you check the printer and make sure it is connected to the power source and then turned on. Turned on. So you connect your, your printer to the power source and then you turn it on. You don't, you don't have to just connect it to the power source and then leave. If you don't turn it on, the printer will not work. So you check the printer is connected and then you put, turn it on from the power source. And then you make sure the printer is connected to the computer. If, it's, if the printer is turned on and it's not connected to the system in it, there is no way it can have access to your computer. So make sure the printer is connected to the computer and it is properly installed. Properly installed here means the, all the drivers have been installed, all the hardware components have been enabled, and everything is set for your printing to be carried out. So you make sure the printer is connected and the computer to the computer and it is properly installed. And then you make sure there are papers in the printer as well before you issue your printing command. So you, after making sure of all these ones, you are ready to go. You save your document before printing. You check if the printer is connected and it is turned on. You make sure the printer's drivers and everything is properly 
installed and then you make sure there are enough papers in the printer we just saw the print preview it has, it has some parts we have the set page margin that one will help you to set the margins we have the set page orientation to help you to choose your preferred orientation and then the zoom tool to either increase the screen for better view so that you can edit and you can see those things that are not supposed to be there and remove them that's the function of the zoom tool and then the paper size we have the a4 we have the a3 and we have the other size of the paper then we have the steps to follow to print a document after checking all your papers and checking to make sure the printer is connected and making sure there, there are enough papers and the printer is turned on after making sure all of those things have been done then you proceed to print the document so maybe you are finished typing your document help heaven honest you are finished typing this particular document here and you want to print it the first step is to click the file button you click on the file tab when you click the file tab before we've already seen the options in the file drop down menu we've seen the new we've seen the open the save us and the save and then the print so after clicking the file button let me give button after clicking the file button then you select print if you select print then it will show up the print dialog box the print screen as i said we have the print screen there then the preview window also here so you see the words you have typed help heaven honest that's our print preview screen there then the print dialog box will be shown here from the print dialog box we select the printer as it's connected so you have an option here for the printer name printer name it is there it can be maybe hp laser jet it is there and maybe there are more printers that, that have been connected to the machine so you select the printer that is ready for printing or you select the printer that is online or you select your default printer so you select the printer that, that, will, that will help you to print the document so from the print dialog box select the printer that is connected to your computer then you also have a session for copies for copies we have and we have the arrow there either up and down so we, if you want to select if you want to print 10 copies you type 10 if you want to type print only one copy you type one then there are also there is an also an option if you want to print the current page you want to print the current page or you want to print all or you want to print some pages in between some pages in between then you so if you want to print the current page it means the current page that has been opened the, the current page that, that that you were working on before you open the print dialog box will be there maybe the current page is maybe page three it's page three but because you the, the current page was opened before you move to the print dialog box that current page will be shown in the preview window and it is this current page that will, that will be printed when you select that the printer should print the current page if you select all the pages it will print from page one page two page three that's the current page and maybe page four if there is then if you want to select specific pages to print maybe you can select that the printer should print page one and page three so whilst it is printing it will print page one it's not print page two then it will print page three so in the sessions in a copy session 
you type you type the number of copies maybe the number of copies then maybe whether to print the current page or to print all pages or to print pages in between then there's also an option called the call it call it you check it we have maybe one two three then we have maybe one 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 is there so you check the call it box and then you click on print and you click on print there is print and there is cancel so if you print then the help the heaven and the honest will be transferred onto the piece of paper that is located in the printer the paper will not be somewhere else the paper must be the one inside the paper so if you want to print it in maybe a different paper altogether you insert that particular print that paper in the printer if you want to select it maybe with a card you want to print on a card or you want to print on a job maybe letterhead you insert that letterhead or that card in the printer before you print so that's the steps you follow to print a document very simple then whilst we are printing we saw a word there call it call it one will ask what is call it in printing what is call it what is call it in printing call it is the gathering and arranging of individual sheets or other printed documents into a predetermined sequence gathering and arranging of individual sheets or other printed components into a predetermined sequence so assuming you have this document you have typed here you have typed maybe five pages this is page one page two page three page four you have page one page two page three and page four and whilst you were printing you said you have to tick the call it if you tick the call it box you have activated the call it yeah if you tick the call it box it means you have activated the call it what you have what you are seeing with the call it of gathering and arranging it means when the call it is checked it will print page one after printing page one to print page two page three and page four maybe you have selected you said in the copies in the print dialog box you can select the number of copies you want to print so maybe you want to print five copies five copies of page one page two page three page four if you don't check the call it dialog if you don't check the call it box and you and you print and you see print five copies it will print page one five copies page two five copies page three five copies page four five copies but if you check the quality box it will print page one page two page three page four together before as one copy before it will print another page one page two page three page four so this one will help you to organize the 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 printing the, the the document before they are done if it prints all page one it means all page ones will be somewhere else we will be on your table waiting for page two to finish printing waiting for page three to finish printing waiting for page four to finish printing but if you check the college box in one in one in one round of printing it will print page one it will print page two it will print page three and then print page four you can staple them put them aside whilst you are waiting for the other copies to be printed that's why we said you have to check the collet box when printing so that it can print all those pages one by one before it prints the others not that you have to print page one ten times or five times it print page two ten times page three ten times page four ten times it just delays the work you are doing so always check the collet box when you are printing then we have the margin he said in the zoom in the 
in the print preview window, we have the we have the part of that window there. We have the set page margin. So you are looking at the functions of the parts of the print preview window. And we said the margin is the distance between the text and the graphics from the edge of the printed paper. So the short distance that is left from the the distance of the text and the graphics in the particular document becomes your margin. Words, micro MS Word will let you separate margins from the top, from the bottom, from the left, or from the right. So you can separate the margin from the right, from the left. You can separate margin from the bottom. You can separate margin from the right or from the top. So a margin is the distance of the text and graphics from the edge of the printed paper. Then you saw the orientations. This is the direction in which the page is printed. There are two types, as I said already. The portrait, that's, that's when the paper is standing. When the paper is standing, it is the portrait. When the paper is lying on its side, it becomes the landscape. And by, and by default, Portrait orientation is the default orientation that is set anytime you open MS Word. Then we have the paper size. The paper size, we said that the default size of the printer of, for, for printing is the A4. That's the default paper size for printing. And the, and the dimension of the A4, we have the 21 centimeters wide. 21 centimeters wide and then 29.7 29.7 and then 21 centimeters wide so that's the size of the a4 sheet 29 centimeters by 21 centimeters in summary what have we learned today? We've been able to preview and edit a Word document using the print preview dialog box. We said the print preview is the tool that will enable the user to view how the document will look like before printing. And once the, uh, once the document has been viewed and changes need to be made, then the user goes back to edit it. And we said editing is preparing a document for final printing. So once everything has been edited, then you are ready to print. We've been also able to outline the steps to print a document using the print icon. You say for us to print, the first thing to do is to click the file button and then select print. And when you click on print, it will display the print dialog box where you can select the printer that has been installed and then after that then select the number of copies you want to print and then either you want to print the current page or you want to print the whole page or you want to print a page in between and then you also have to check the quality box so that it will print in a predetermined order it will not print all once all one pages before it will print all two pages but it will print one one two three as one round of printing, and then you, call, you are good to go. Then, you also saw the, the size of the A4 paper as the 21 centimeters wide, and then 29.7 centimeters high. Hope you enjoyed today's lessons. My name is Collins J. Mensah. I'll catch you another time. Take care and be safe.